We are here for Thanksgiving stories because I am very thankful for meeting Rich. Rich and I share something in common called silver sneakers. At least that's where we met. But how did we... What is a silver sneaker anyway? The silver sneakers is an exercise and cardio program at the Y here in Wallingford. And it is more than just exercise. It is a, for me anyway, a program to keep me healthy, balanced. And getting new friends. <laughs> and to get new friends, right. right. <laughs> and as we gather uh, <clears throat> between exercise classes, uh, some get a little java. We have a cup of coffee in the morning, yeah. yes. And we tell stories. We sure do. And I learned a little bit about you, and I said, that is a grateful story. A story of being <laughs> grateful that I'd like you to share with a larger community. So I invited you here. Yes, you did. I'd be very happy to share my, my story. And the first one that I had told you, Sue, I was associated with the ALS uh, group that's for uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. And we rent lift chairs, power recliners for people that have difficulty standing. We being? Wilson Furniture. Wilson Furniture. And you are Rich of Wilson Furniture? I'm Richard Wilson, right. <laughs> okay. So it's a family business. There's okay. my, my two sons and my grandsons are in it. And uh, so we would deliver, ALS would call me up, they want to rent a chair, we would bring it to the, to the patient. And we had been doing that for probably two years. And one of the things that was happening is we would deliver a chair and then <clears throat> in a relatively sh short time they would call us up because that patient was finished with the chair and to be returned. And we, this made you a little sad. It made us very sad because it meant that that person uh, usually had passed away. And so we were troubled that at the at the timelines so we went back to the to the organization and was explaining that the boys that were delivering the chairs were becoming somewhat upset over that and uh, when I say depressed not completely depressed but they, they but, were sad but they were feeling sad that somebody yeah. didn't get a chance to use the chair a long time correct so they asked me do you think that that person got a benefit, that he improved their life for at least a day. I said, oh yeah, certainly. And they said, if, that, if you did that for a person, that's all you could ask for. If you've improved somebody's life for a day, a week, a month, what more could you ask? And that's the whole purpose of helping somebody out. It, it turned us around and uh, and it became, instead of a sad story, it became a story of being grateful for what you were able to do. Right. So we're very grateful to be able to help the people and, and not thinking that we were doing something that was sad. We were doing something really of benefit to the patient and to the caregivers. Great. Yeah. And sometimes you visit clients that are 60 ish like me because I'm newly minted silver sneakers Medicare eligible this month Correct. exciting thing yep. um, and yep. my age uh, yep. you visit people my age and sometimes they're not too excited about living correct so I was telling you that <laughs> sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah, go ahead uh, I was I was explaining to you that sometimes we go into a home where people are in their 60s and we start talking about different things and, and they say well how much does that cost mm -hmm. give them a price and they say well I don't think so I don't think I'm gonna live that long so why bother making a change but then I go into homes that people are in their 80s and 90s I've delivered them the chairs mm -hmm. they want to know how long the chair is warranted for and if it's not Long. Maybe it's not mad. ten years. <laughs> if I tell them it's a it's a three year prorated thing, 
They're not satisfied. <laughs> Ninety-year-olds are not satisfied. Not sat they are not ready to. I find that so exciting to to have somebody, you know, that I think is elderly, <laughs> and they are not ready to quit. So uh, I'm not sure why the difference of of, of uh, outlook about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But certainly when you're 60, so you are not ready. You're not at the end of the line there at all. We're midlife still, aren't we? We sure, we are. sure are. And I find that at Silver Sneakers. Yeah. I look around and everybody's 10, 20 years older than me, and I'm like, wow. They get up. They come here more often than I do. They are feeling great about their lives. They're still active and That's involved, right. and it's a wonderful experience. And it's great to meet new friends there, and I'm really grateful that you Myself came to share. Myself included, being that <laughs> 10 years or more. All right, yeah. for sharing a gratefulness story with me here. I'm very happy to be here with you, Sue, and to have met you at the Y.